Okay. Oh, I need to mute my stream right away. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that when I start. Um, and that's not good. You also need to mute yours. Oh, did you hear it? A little bit. A little bit. Sorry, I turned it down. Um, what is this game? What is happening on the screen right now? Well, this is actually a screenshot that I took. Oh. Um, because Why are you... Because some weird things happened in this game, and I wanted to discuss them. Why are you fighting the racist cousin of the Pillsbury Doughboy? I'm not fighting him, and he's actually not the most racist character. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> There's, in in one, of, one, of the, um, one of the games has a plethora of little racist cartoon people. Um, mm -hmm. I guess, and they're all they're all kind of Asian racist, and it's drawn by an Asian woman, so maybe that makes it not racist. Should maybe? I be looking at this website where it says this is what all you Sailor Mary suits have been waiting for? Get in there, you tossers. Is that where I should be looking at this <laughs> thing you linked me to? No, we're gonna. Well, that's the section. That's the section okay. we're looking at, but we're not quite okay. there yet. So, okay. so basically, when I tried to play this game before with Sarah um, at New Type Lady, I. Is she around? Is that happening? I don't know if she is. I don't think she is. I think she's at work. Um, sure. She's not on Skype. It's kind of a bummer. But anyway. Lame. Um, so when I was playing this before, I just kind of leapt into it without really planning ahead. Um, mm. And turns out with Japanese adventure RPGs that are completely in Japanese as they are Japanese games, that's a bad idea. That's like a terrible idea. I had no idea what was going on. I did the same cow puzzle like five times. We did not even, like, to put it into perspective, we played that game for like two, I want to say like one or two hours, around two hours. We didn't even get a third of the way through the first level. Oof. Um, but now even, you have. Yeah. So what I did was I went back on my own free time and I played all the way up to the Sailor Moon part because this game... Um, what it is, is it's like the magazine that used to publish Sailor Moon as part of its sort of, you know, it published several comics, um, several manga, and Sailor Moon is one of them. Um, but it had these other titles, so this is a game that where, where you're sort of going oh, yep. to the world of each of these six yep. titles, including Sailor Moon, and because Sailor Moon's most popular, it's the biggest, hardest, and last level. Biggest and hardest, got it. Yeah. So Art because says, let's talk more all cows. Great. There's no more. Ca there's no. Well, I won't say there's no more cows. They'll probably. I have when you. Spoilers. I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But, um, so when I played this game through, there was some crazy shit happening, and I was like, well, now I feel bad that I'm not streaming this because this shit's insane. But at the same time, because I was following a walkthrough, me playing was really just me reading this wall of text, and and just. It is a wall. It is a wall you. of text. She has no pictures in there. Um, for record, the the walkthrough that we're using is oocities.org. How do we say that? Is, are we saying it oocities? I think we're saying it oocities. <laughs> oocities. Dot org. Uh, dot org slash wait underscore what underscore rewind slash article slash nakayoshi.e show dot html. What? Um, rewind. I think that's how you're supposed to say that. Yeah. So pretty... I'm... So I'm gonna I'm gonna link that in the chat just for the few people who are watching this and actually want to see that. Most of you you can probably ignore that. Uh, in the YouTube video, I'll put an annotation just for the curious if they want to slog through this game themselves. Anyways, so I didn't stream this game when I was actually playing through it, but I did take a bunch of screenshots because this game's fucking insane. So I should explain right here that this weirdo elephant guy. Um, an elephant. Where's his trunk? No, he, well, he has, like, elephant ears. Maybe okay. I'm being racist. It's probably, like, it's probably like a Buddhism so. thing. Um, yeah. he, he, when you encounter him, he's usually, he's usually in the body of an enemy. The enemies are usually little brown smarty things, or M&M things, I guess, if you're American. Um, like most of us. Yeah. And he shows up, and he's like, hey, I'm good luck, man. I'm going to give you presents. So then he, he'll give you, like, a piece of chocolate or some marbles or something. Um, like a food item or... Like marbles. I, like, yeah. um, I also understand a little bit more about the interface. So when I'm actually playing, I'll explain what the fuck all the shit is. Um, and then I fought this adorable squirrel. And that was pretty cool. 
Um, he has little pants on. Sell me on this game. It's pretty cute. Um, oh, you'll also notice he has one heart, and I have three hearts. That doesn't mean anything. No, it just mean like the yeah, power of that your that heart own, could or? be like that heart could stand for like three hundred health. And each of my hearts could stand for like 100 health. It seems completely arbitrary. And like when you buy healing items and food and stuff, it'll say this heals you for 80 health points. Um, <laughs> but that's that's you don't you don't have health points in a number. You have them in hearts. And also it divides it between your health and your energy, anyways. So I don't know what that's about. Um, that's kind of confusing. I fought this badass fish. Um, I also fought two pieces of chalk who were holding hands, and then immediately after that, a string of chalk, but I forgot to take a picture of them. Is that like a gay thing? Is this like know. homophobic? This guy or... probably is. This paint man. I'm still at fish with sunglasses. Oh, you'll get there. You'll get to paint man. Don't worry oh, about it. Oh, paint man's it. super homophobic, let me tell <laughs> yeah. you. I'm not really comfortable with paint man. I thought he was a piece of meat at first, and I was like, oh, that's that's not sauce. That's like a brush, and a, he has a beret. Uh, yeah, so paint like man. A palette. What? Then there's Why this garbage bag a... person who fights Isn't you Pokemon? because you call them poor or something. You call them poor, and they're like, hey, I'm not poor, and then they fight you. <laughs> Yo, that person's just wearing a garbage bag. Yeah. I, think, I think they're pretty you poor. You fight them a couple times. There's actually, um, surprisingly, the enemies in this game don't repeat that often. I've only seen, unless you're going back to a specific enemy in a specific area over and over again when they respawn, um, there's some enemies that I've only seen like once. The ones I've seen That's the most, cool. I've maybe only seen like two or three times. I'm down um, with that. Usually, yeah, they're, usually the ones that you see the yeah. most are cows, because this game hates cows, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, this little clown man is not an enemy. This girl is the enemy. Sometimes just people are enemies. This clown gives you a balloon, a and uh, and you float over a thing. So that's that was nice of him. Great. Um, oh, also, the money is peas. Well, it's, it's peachy. So the money is pea? It's what? peachy, which I don't know what that's... I don't know if that means like peaches or like pitches or because I know mermaid melody peachy peachy peach is like that in that in that sense it means pitch but that's not. I mean a yeah duh everybody knows that. It's not a currency. I don't know. Um, this is what the enemies usually look like: these little brown smarty guys, M and M guys. Yep, I see them. I see them. Uh, yeah. Also, whenever you're in mazes like this, the Inspector Gadget song plays. It's well, it's, it's not the Inspector Gadget song, but like the first half of the Inspector Gadget song, and like, I'm excited the weird to hear that. Um, hopefully, there'll be a maze in the Sailor Moon level. Uh, this fish was in love with me, so I threw some cows at it. Um, like you do. And you'll see the combat system is like, it's like roulette kind of. So the best thing to get is three fist things. Or, like, maybe three bag things, or, you know, it depends sure. on what's in your bag. Um, yeah, it's, you'll see. Cool Eggplant Man is my favorite, and I threw some bones at him. Sorry, yeah, it's it's called a slot machine, but the the walkthrough calls it roulette, and now, I'm, now I just call it roulette, because I do what I'm told. Um, so Eggplant Man is my favorite. He has, Actually, it might be a lady, because he's got high heels on, I don't know. It was Japan in the and 90s, too, so it's hard to tell. Mm, it's true. Uh, angry cow. I got three punches on that one. That's how you win the game. That's great. You instant kill whatever it is. It's... <laughs> then there's a happy cow. Uh, electric bug man. Lightning. Lightning. Light bulb bug. Really man. killing it right now. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, so then, so the way each level starts is you go to a lady's office. <laughs> Not just a lady, she's the artist of the, of the comic <laughs> you're going to go into. <laughs> you go to some lady's office. Um, and she's like, oh, you got to save my character and get my magic pens back. And that's what you do for everything, is basically you're saving character X, getting magic pens back. Um, the first lady, the, the lady in charge of the first area gave me magic earrings that let me talk to animals. That was a present I got. Are these things from the series? From I this? don't. I don't fucking know. Ask Great. me what I know about Goldfish Warning. That was the first what you, series. What do you What do you know about Goldfish Warning? That sounds rad. 
Uh, based on this game, it's about a girl who has a talking goldfish, and there's a girl in another school who's mean to her. Bitches, man. Yeah. So this is, this is the second world, which is Min Min, where you can be a creepy little Chinese cartoon girl who flies. So wait, did your, so your character changes? Kind of. You're like yeah. a, you're like a girl, but you use a you can use a transformation pen sometimes, not in all cases, but in some levels, to change into the main character of the series, and that, well, that gives you special right. interactions. I, I know a bunch of girls, and they can just change at will. That's great. <laughs> uh, carrot fighting. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's the first really kind of racist character. Min Min has some really questionable enemies that I'm not comfortable with. I'm the carrots. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah. Min Min has, like, I want to say four or five um, enemies that are that are not cool at all. Uh, oh, here's the other one. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, That's... it's by an Asian lady, so it's okay. No, it's no, fine. I'm not sure that it's it is. It's fine. What are you worried about? A what about lot, this one? This is an actual Japanese right one. This is a Japanese person. There you go. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Racism's over. You're no. Nope. I uh, got another elephant ear man. When did this come out again? Exactly. This is from 1993. Oh well. Oh, we'll put it that way. Uh, ghosts. Why did I? I don't even know why I took a picture. Of I think I took a picture of those ghosts because they just looked so worried and like upset. Uh. <laughs> Adorable bunnies. I don't know why you have to fight adorable animals, fighting creepy stack dudes. That ghost is pretty great. I just saw that ghost. Um, the first boss fight is with ghost. this dude who's like, he looks like Simon Belmont, but his attacks are all like Pikachu attacks. He's like an electric whip. Um, his his special named attack is called Shining Spark or something. He's so he's like a he's like a Pikachu Belmont. Um. That's what I call I'll find him. that fanfic. Don't think I won't. <laughs> I bet that's a. If someone someone's made Pokemon Vania, you know they have. <laughs> Don't even. So yeah, here I've tra I'm transformed into the main character, but the main character is also here. Whoa, zany mix up. Uh, that lady is adorable. Uh, at one point I just tripped for no reason, and then I found a jewel. So you know it's an RPG. <laughs> Um, it's hard to tell, but that demon has huge shiny boobs, and that's worth doing. So I like them. This is right here. You're getting you're getting not oh, yeah, the show in a nutshell. Basically, it's you don't you don't need to play this game anymore. You're seeing all the good parts. Punch tennis ball <laughs> man. Uh, there's a different tennis ball man, but he's like a happy tennis ball man, who you fight immediately after cranky tennis ball man. Another author. I saved that one because she looked kind of like Sarah, and I thought Sarah might like that picture. Because <laughs> she just looks so, like, I don't know, cranky. Right. Um, that's Kyle of, of Run Button fame in this video game. He's, he's very young, but I don't, I don't know how he managed to get in here. He's very impressive. Um, there's Inspector Gadget. There's a couple Inspector Gadgets in this level where you're running around talking to elves for some reason. This game really likes Inspector Gadget, and I don't blame it. That's a solid... It's a pretty good show. I'm a fan. Yeah. Here's a crying onion man with a fork spoon head. I can't imagine what this is like for Austin hearing this shit like ten seconds before he sees it. It's I. It's good because I get to picture it in my mind and, <laughs> and then be disappointed see, when it's not uh, quite like what that, I had. Like that person in, who yeah. used to draw Pokemon based on descriptions and never right, having exactly. seen actual Pokemon. It's a lot like that. Uh, there's an elf. That's boring. Some globby things. I threw turtles at them. Oh, there's a place that sold eggs. Um, there's like shops and stuff. And most of you, you get your weapons at stationary shops and you get your magic at jewel shops and you get your recovery items in food shops. And there's this place that just had an egg shop. And I was like, okay, I'll get an egg. Um, I got a turtle egg. So now I can throw turtles at enemies. It was a really expensive <laughs> turtle egg too. It was like, it was like 1500 peachy. And then there's a cow man or lady. I don't know. Looks kind of drunk. Yeah. So that's um. So that's where we're at. That's that's basically uh, we're where we're at. 
Um, we're caught up. Uh, ooh. So, I don't remember anything about these other series, or like what these things were about. Min Min, you just kind of pocket park, I don't remember at all, you just ran around. Min Min, you kind of flew around. <laughs> Tayoni Smash, I guess that was the one with the tennis. Uh, that was chapter four. Chapter five is Kurumi-chan no Seven Nin no Kobito Tachi. Um, I think that was the one where I was talking to elves. And then Sailor Moon. Right. So, yeah. Um, where I am now is I've basically just finished up level five because I wanted to show you the whole lead-in to the next level, and they don't really give you a lot of breathing room when they're doing that. Uh... So, boom, dive right in, make sure everything's, yeah, okay, good. So then the dude I was hanging out with pops out and he's like, oh, you saved Elf Girl or whatever this is about, whatever this, <laughs> her name's probably Kurumi, that seems like a safe bet. Sorry, I may or may not have been distracted by looking for Pikachu Cross <laughs> the Belmont fanfic. You're missing me talking to the author of whatever that thing was. I'm giving her her, pe her magic pens back. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's gonna- is she gonna give me a present? Uh, let's see. Why are her eyes so small? Every person also gives you, like, a weapon. She gave me an ocarina. And I'm giving that back. And she's healing me and filling up my magic. And then, no. She didn't give me a present. Right now I've got a magic necklace, a magic bracelet, and magic earrings. Did you make the... this? Yeah, okay. You made the side thing with the elephant Buddha. That's not part of the game, right? No, I made that. <laughs> I made that <laughs> okay, myself good. for this. Here we go. Talking to fucking... Wait, why does she have a weird crystal in her forehead? Because she's a Sailor Moon character? Is that like a purple pear? Dracula held his arms above his head. His feet changed into a multitude of bats, continuing with his legs on oh, up no. before he turned into a giant bat. Count Dracula flew up to the fortress where he could begin his siege of the Pokemon world. I don't like that at all. Sorry the music's yeah, this cutting is out weird. in this is cutting not, in the There's no so Simon Belmont and there's no I'm Pikachu. Really it feels like it's specifically anti those things, even. Oh. That's a bummer. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we're to, we talked to um, Naoko Takeuchi, who made Sailor Moon. That's her thing. Um, so now I'm in Sailor Moon Land, which looks like every other land. Which there's like a well, no, because there's um, into, Serena. Like a bus That's the name of the cat. Is that no, Luna. What? The cat's Luna. Who's Serena? Who? Why am I? Clearly. Serena's Clearly, I made the wrong choice of co-host for this fucking episode. Yeah, I told Jesus. you. Serena is Sailor Moon, right? I'm not. I just Serena lost my mind. Cat? Yeah, well, in the dub, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Um, so I'm talking. It Luna. wasn't slash art. It was just fanfic. Dracula is gonna do anything to this Pokemon. Don't worry about it. All fanfic is slash fanfic if you use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Close. so in this game, this game surprisingly revolves pretty heavily around bus, bus transit. Um, in every level, at some point, you have to get a bus pass and go somewhere else by bus, and the bus stop always looks the same, and the bus is like a little pink bus. So we'll see that soon. Um, okay, so what's basically happened here is Naoko Takeuchi has given me a has given me the Henshin pen again, which is the thing that will let me transform into the main character of the series. So you, um, now you're going to become Usagi. Oh, and Luna's my companion now. That's why her face is down there. So there's companions. So this is Doctor Who. This is the Doctor Who Yes. Game. Yes. Got it. Uh, uh, so this is my food. A, I don't. Luna. I have cho I have two pieces of chocolate cake, which will heal me for 180 whatevers. Um, which is a lot, I guess. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it right now. I think it's like com compared to the first game that you played in this series, which was which specifically had a mode for girls that was easier. Yeah. This is a game that's very clearly targeted towards 
girls because those are the readers of these manga, right? Mm -hmm. And it seems pretty legit. Like, it seems like a game-ass game, you know? Um, I mean, except the combat requires absolutely zero skill. It is entirely random and based on how much money you have. Just like real life. Yeah, just like real life. Being an American taught me was we're the best at combat because we have all this money. Exactly. Uh, So here. When does Sailor Moon get drones? I don't understand. So I've got my food, I've got my equipment, my, the henshin pen will let me transform into Sailor Moon in this case. Um, I've got earrings let me talk to animals, I've got a ring that does something, I've got another or a bracelet that does another thing, and a necklace that does another thing. These things are probably about magic. Um, <laughs> I don't really remember. Uh, and then I've got, I've also got a phone card, which we're gonna, I'm gonna use at some point, which lets me call the main characters of previous levels on the phone and talk to them. Um, you get, like, advice, or...? I get, just to talk to them, just to see how they're doing. Um, like, hey, what's up? Also, the balance of your phone card will go down, so if you do that too much, you have to buy another phone card. Jesus. <laughs> Um, and these are the weapons that I'm pretty that hardcore. I'm this is basically oh, Sailor Moon Dark Souls. Me... Oh, she gave me a Seizabon. I don't know what that is. Someone in the chat? It looks like a CD. She gave me a CD or a bathroom scale. That could be a bathroom scale. <laughs> um, a tennis ball. Uh, uh, that looks like a bathroom some scale to me. I don't know. Balls and a volleyball. And my, the ping pong balls are currently my strongest weapon. And I've also got um, magic crystals. Uh, right now, the light crystals are my. I think I don't know. If, I don't know if this is ice or light. They're both. They could be either. I want to say it's. I want to say the pearls are light. I don't know. This is a good game. Um, I'm gonna turn into Sailor Moon now. Yeah. Because it doesn't cost me any energy anymore because I have jewelry. That's how this works. It used to it used to slowly kill me. Um, when I was transformed. <laughs> Sorry. It would slowly kill me over time. Um, to be that's to be transformed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Luna apparently said that I have to go into the city and head to the game center. Yay. Um telephone if I want to save, a food store, and a building with closed doors. <laughs> the food store in the scene is a candy shop. I can get chocolate, juice, uh, ice cream, or cookies. I need food because I only have two pieces of cake and I'm going to get my ass handed to me, so I need some food. Um, I wish I... Hmm. What? Let me see the... You, let me see the Sazabon again. It's like a blue, round, I want to see, thing. I want to well, see I'm the in... kanji, because I'm crazy. Oh. I don't think it's kanji. I don't think there's any kanji oh, in this game, great. man. It's all hiragana and katakana. All right. It might mean, like, like, zodiac stamp. Oh! That like could, a zodiac, that like a Or like seal. some sort of astrological whatever. Right, it's like a star seal yeah. or something. Like... Or star judgment. I don't know. Oh, There's this food is something expensive. with stars, which makes perfect sense. I don't have a or lot of Or astrological, money. you know, yeah, constellation, star, star sign, zodiac sign. 500. I'll go with the 500 foods. What is that? <laughs> That's juice, I think. Get some juice. With my very little money. enough for that? I do. Get that as a backup. Okay. I forget how to quick save in this. Let me just... Okay. Okay. Let's just shift numbers. Okay. So. Apparently the doors to this building will be locked. Yeah. I can't do anything with those. And I should probably, in theory, talk to these people. The boy on the far left pays out 500 peachy, and the boy on the far right has 200. The girl up top tells you that Crystal Seminar uh, is near is nearby here. Crystal Seminar is the study center that Amy goes to. Mm. Oh, I like her sweat drop face. That yeah, was good. So this appears to be some sort of little carrot baby. 
Or pumpkin baby? That sounds super racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna so I'm gonna fight him. Uh oh god. Uh, stars stars aren't great. Um Getting two stars in a row is okay, but if you get one star, it seems to just be like, be nice and let them punch you. <laughs> so, <laughs> stars aren't good. Um, yeah, the, I wasn't kidding. The combat is super. Fuck! I almost got three fists. <sighs> the combat is super random. Um, and There's like, no way for you to like modify it or. I mean, the only way to modify it is, like, for example, uh, the crystal will use my magic spell that I selected. Okay, I see. Yeah. And the magic spells are controlled by crystals, and you want to have a powerful crystal, because then it'll use that. Um, I was having a problem for a long time with uh, the item bag. Yeah, three fists! Suck it! I mean, this says that you can, it, baby. you can time when to stop them, though. It or says that, to. but that's not... It's like... Did you watch the run button Super Mario bonus chance stuff? I'm way back on run button stuff because yeah, I'm the they... worst. I also mean, because I've other things in theory, you can time life. that too, but, you know. But. Yeah. Um. What the hell was I going to say? You son of a bitch. That it's random and hard to stop it when you want it to stop? Oh, sorry, no, it was about the items. The item bag oh. icon, um... The item bag icon will take whatever item. It'll just randomly pick an item from your bag. And okay. I had a problem for a long time because I'd hold, I'd held on to all my items from the beginning of the game. Um. So that was a problem because it would pick like these super weak items instead of all the strong items that I had. Right. Um, so I had to sell the old stuff. What do I want to call? I want to Could call. You have what are your options? Uh, Wapiko. Uh, oh yeah, Wapiko. Wappy dog? Is Wappy dog one of them? Wappy dog. Rena? What is that? I don't know. What that's it's, 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 no, it's E. Something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Min Min. Min Min's the racist character. Uh, Moe, which that's a pretty okay. Uh, and Kurumi. I'm gonna call Min Min. Melding Plague doing. says, and I think correctly, call the Nintendo <laughs> helpline and just scream. <laughs> oh, I guess Min Min's just like, what's up? I'm Min Min. We. That's some lady. She was sick. I didn't even get to play as her. She was just in bed sick, and I got her some medicine from a school. And that was that level. <laughs> Oh, I guess my credit goes down by one each time I call someone, so I could call those six characters a hundred times if I wanted. <laughs> Great. Cool. Uh, I don't want to fight that guy because he's just gonna chew through my health and 200 peachy is like fucking nothing. And you also like, I can walk in front of him, he doesn't fucking give a shit. I have to like actually deliberately engage with him, which is nice, you can avoid almost... You can avoid like two thirds of the fight and of the fights in this game, so that's okay. Uh, let's see. Fortune House. If you can speak Japanese and you have extra peachy to burn, fuck that. There's another food store. Fuck that. Let's see. I guess I should be going up. I think that's probably that's what they're trying to tell me here. 